guys, it's Maddie. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine and I'm also going to be answering your questions throughout the video. And I'm a little bit sick, so if I sound funny, that's why. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by using the Borghese Fango Delicato. It's a mud mask that I've been trying out for the past couple of weeks. And I'm just going to apply this before I get started with my makeup. First question is from Twitter and it's from Adrian Davis and she asks, will you be getting any more tattoos in the future? And I just got one like a month ago. Yeah, I think I'm good for right now, but maybe a couple more little ones. So I'm gonna leave this on for a few minutes just to let it sit in and then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off. Um, but I will answer a couple more questions. So next one is from Instagram and it says, if you're feeling nervous, anxious, or upset, or angry, um, what are the things you do to calm you down? I'm so lucky because I have my family, so I'm, if I'm ever having like a mental breakdown or if I'm upset about something, I can easily call them. They're always there to talk me through things. If I just wanna deal with something on my own, yoga is really relaxing. I have um, a couple of yoga mats and there's an app as well that I use and you could just do it for like 15 or 30 minutes. You can set what time, um, how long you wanna do it for. And at the end of it, I feel amazing. It's just this really calming feeling and it, it really does relax you. So anything where you can just like sit by yourself, be alone and just let yourself breathe, I think is, the best way to kind of get over something. But yeah, yoga definitely helps me and then having somebody to talk to, of course. Okay, so I just went ahead and rinsed off the mud mask and now I'm going to use moisturizer. And the one that I have is the Hydroactive 3-in-1 Hero Hydration Cream. Uh, it has super cute packaging and this can be used on your hands and body as well. And it smells like flowers. Okay, so I'm just gonna rub this in, and then I'm going to apply SPF. So I've been trying the Dream Screen by Benefit. Um, this has SPF 45. Next question is, what's the best way to get over someone and move on? Also, how do you go about self-love? Okay, so, oh, okay, so getting over somebody and moving on, that's, that's hard. The one thing that I can say is you just have to give it time. And I know that sounds corny and it's like obvious, but it, it really is true. And also just know that if somebody really truly wanted to be with you, they would. And you just kind of have to think of it that way. Like there's going to be somebody else out there and you just can't hold out for somebody. Um, especially when you're so young, you don't want to do that. And then self-love. This is something that I've been thinking about a lot. And since being out here in LA alone and trying to date here, it's so hard. And I swear, I feel like I have a mental breakdown every week. And um, it's so tough, but you, you just have to do your own thing. Like do whatever it is that you love and just focus on that. You're not gonna be worried about what other people think about you or wondering about so-and-so who you went on a date with the other night who's not texting you back. Like little things like that. Do what you love to do and spend time alone. Go on a hike by yourself. Take your camera out with you. Go see a movie that you've been wanting to see and just spend time with yourself. Just enjoy and be thankful for the time that you do have by yourself because until you fully love yourself, you can't possibly love somebody else or have somebody love you fully, if that makes sense. You know, you really have to just do your own thing to truly be happy. So I have been dealing with this a lot lately too. So you're not alone but just know that you're a badass and you don't need anybody. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply foundation. I've been using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Makeup. I think this is a little bit too dark for me. I swear, every time I get matched for a foundation, they always make it like two shades darker than I should be because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be the lightest shade, yet they always 
make it darker. I don't know why that is. We're gonna use it anyway. I just have to make sure that I buff it in really well. All right, next question. Are you in school? If so, what are you studying? Um, I'm not in school anymore. I just graduated in May with my bachelor's degree in elementary education. I was going to apply for my master's in the fall. I wanted to do nonprofit or like social justice stuff because that's what I was currently taking before I graduated, like all of those like animal rights classes, women's rights, um, stuff like that. So that's what I wanted to get my master's in, but then this job came up, so now I'm here. So yeah, not in school, but if I do go back, it'll be for something like that. And now I'm going to use the anti-aging lip and hand polish, and this is by Jersey Shore Spa, and I love this stuff. I have a big tub of it at home, and this one comes in uh, this little squeezy tube, I think this is from this month's glam bag as well. So if you guys got this, this stuff is awesome. It's just um, like a sugar scrub. And I have really dry lips, so this is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this before I move on. So I went ahead and wiped that off and now I'm just gonna apply lip balm and then I'll finish with the rest of my makeup. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been asking how my transition has been to California and how I've been doing with missing my family and being homesick and all that stuff. And it's been hard, really hard, um, but I talk to them every day. My parents, we FaceTime every night, so it just feels like they're not so far away. But it was really hard in the beginning. I felt really freaking lonely and all I wanted to do was sleep. I was just so sad. I just didn't know what to do with myself. And then that's why I got a dog. I got a dog within like three weeks of being here. Her name is Violet. Um, I'm gonna do a video with her soon, but if you guys follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, you guys will see pictures of her. She's a rescue and she is the goofiest. She's also kind of bratty too. She's just super rambunctious, but she is so incredibly sweet and she keeps me busy and I'm so lucky to have her. So for those of you who've just moved out or are going to school or you know, just being away from home, it is hard, but just know that everything's going to be okay and you have to make the best of it. So you may as well just go out and do whatever it is you wanna do because this is the time to do it. You're young and you're not at home anymore and just try and have fun. And that's the only way you're gonna meet people anyway, so. Just know that it's okay and don't stay around at home. Okay, so I just used the Tarte Blush in Exposed and this is a really pretty nude color. Um, yeah, this is probably my favorite blush. Okay, where do you get visual inspiration for your videos because your aesthetic is the best? Thank you. Um, I pull from lots of movies, like foreign films, lots of 80s movies. Wes Anderson too, he's a huge one. I mean, I have like the wallpaper and everything, but yeah, Wes Anderson, probably the biggest. I am going to do my eyebrows really quick, so I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This one is in ash brown, and I have the little brush here as well. And this is the, well, I don't know, because everything's rubbed off, so this is by Anastasia as well. It's just the double-ended one, so I'm just going to fill them in really quick. Okay, so I've finished my eyebrows. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply eyeshadow primer. This one is by Elizabeth Ma and it's the Thank Me Later primer. What's your job? Kiss from Italy. Okay, so right now I just do YouTube full time. That, that's my job and I am an Ipsy stylist. So I make a glam bag video each month on my channel using the products from that month's glam bag. So this video I'm using products from the December glam bag which is this guy right here. There are seven stylists and each of us get a handful of products from uh, this month and we use them in a video to teach the subscribers of the Glam Bag how to use the products, which is really cool. And we get to try a whole bunch of new things, which is fun and we can do whatever we want with them. Like I have full creative control over everything. All of the ideas are my own. I edit the videos myself still. Um, everything's pretty much the same. I just get to try new makeup. So yeah, that's that's about it. I just do YouTube <laughs> full time. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes really quick without using a mirror, so this might be kind of, woo. What is your current relationship status? Are you dating? P.S. I adore you and your stuff so much. Okay, thank you. Um, I am dating. Uh, it's not the easiest thing and it's not all that fun sometimes, but yeah, dating in LA is really hard. Oh, okay, here's another one. Why are you filming so few videos? Um, I don't know, I'm just trying to figure it out. Being here has been pretty difficult as far as inspiration. I just feel like I haven't... I feel like I have something to offer YouTube that's different, but I just haven't grasped it yet. I just haven't figured it out. So I'm trying to pick it up and make it more consistent. I think I've been really bad about that, so... Yeah, I'm trying. All right, so now I'm using the Evelyn Iona Mascara. I haven't tried this yet. We'll see how it does. I don't have a mirror still. People really wanna know this. Okay, are you still with your boyfriend or is it time to find a new love? Um, I think that's funny because I've never talked about my relationships on the internet, so I don't know how, who, uh, um, no, I don't have a boyfriend and I'm currently dating, so. Yeah. If you could only wear one nail polish color or design for the rest of your life, what would it be? I'm so excited about these. I posted them on uh, Instagram. I got them done today. This is only the second time I've gotten my nails done ever. And I think the first time I did it, I was pretty young. So I didn't know what the heck was going on. I didn't know what was going on today either. Color underneath is by Formula X and it's called Revved Up. And then I have this dark uh, maroon shade and it's zebra print and they're really cool. I like them. So as of right now, these are my favorite nails. So maybe these. Okay, next question is, what's your age? I'm 23. Next one is, can we be friends? Yes, of course. I actually met uh, this girl named Jeanette. She subscribed to my YouTube channel. I met her this weekend and she was so sweet. And I love when you guys come up and say hi because it's so nice and you all are so freaking cute and sweet and it just makes me really happy. So I was talking to her for a while, but um, anyway, yeah, we can totally be friends. Okay, so this one is, what made you give up your teaching career and opt to move to Cali to work with Ipsy instead? Well, this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity and I've always thought about doing YouTube full time. Like what if I could just do it, you know, just start making videos and maybe something will work out. And the whole teaching thing has kind of been iffy anyway because I had this one really horrible experience with subbing. So I was going to school full-time subbing and working at the Apple store part-time. So I was always really busy and then of course I had my YouTube channel. And the subbing, it got harder as the years went by. The kids aren't fun, I, you know, and I want to be the cool fun one but they will walk all over you and I had this really bad experience with kindergarten and I didn't have an assistant teacher, which I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have. It was just me and like 25 five-year-olds and I, it, that was it, that I was so distraught and it was just a really, really bad experience and that was the last time I subbed and that was when I started thinking, I can't freaking do this. I mean, I have my degree, so I can always go back to it, which I probably will because I really miss spending time with kids. I just enjoy working with kids. And I actually applied to volunteer tutoring for kids who live on Skid Row. So I'll probably start doing that with my free time. I can always go back to teaching if I, if I want to, but yeah, it's just been kind of, iffy lately and I mean this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity I mean this is only gonna go on for a few years so I may as well do it now while I can okay so this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on without a mirror this is a, um, a jewelry holder from Urban and um, there's like a mirror in it and I think I'm gonna have to use this this is sad Okay, for lips, I'm going to be using the Model Co. Lip Liner. Once again, still don't have, oh, I can use this, okay. I have a little mirror, just a nude shade. 
Okay, this one is from my friend Bernice. She says, what is your favorite food? Color, favorite old school TV show, ASL. Just kidding on ASL, love you. Okay, that was really funny. Favorite food is, I, you, I, <sighs> I always say mac and cheese, but I'm really trying to stay away from dairy because I don't eat meat anymore. So I'm slowly trying to get myself away from cheese, which is so hard for me. And I know I know that's so annoying to hear, but I'm trying. So yeah, I wanna say mac and cheese, but um, I feel kind of guilty about saying that. I've been eating vegan mac and cheese though, so that's pretty good, okay. Next question is, what is your favorite song at the moment? I feel like my music taste is all over the place, but right now, Lucini by Camplo, um, also Don't Trip by The Game is really good too. I don't know, I, I'm all over the place. Now I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita 2. And this was actually a question that I got. Somebody asked what my favorite lip product at the moment is, and it's been these Kat Von D uh, liquid lipsticks. In my last video, you guys were asking which lipstick I was wearing, and it was one of these, but I can't remember the shade of it, so I'll leave it in the description box somewhere, but these have been my favorite lately. I love them. Okay, now I'm gonna finish off with a perfume. This is by Costume National, and this is in So Nude. So, let's try it. it smells good. This one is in this month's glam bag as well, so. If you guys got it, let me know what you think of it. Today I use the Briogeo Curl Charisma and this is just for curly hair to defrizz it. So this is what I have in here. You just apply it to wet hair and then you can blow dry it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this wasn't a typical video, but I got a comment in my last video saying that it seems like my videos have been really impersonal and I get it, I totally get it, and so I'm trying really hard to, you know, I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out, but I hope this helped you guys get to know me a little bit better, and I'll do another one of these if you would like, and you can always ask questions in the comments, I always read them and answer, so yeah, if you have any questions for me, don't hesitate to ask, and yeah, that is everything. Um, I will talk to you guys in the next one, bye!